The narrative of Bel and the Dragon is incorporated as Chapter 14 of the Extended Book of Daniel. The original Septuagint text in Greek survives in a single manuscript, Codex Chesianus, while the standard text is due to Theodotion, the 2nd century AD reviser. This chapter, along with chapter 13, is considered deuterocanonical, it was rejected by Rabbinic Judaism, and while it is viewed as canonical by both Catholic and Orthodox Christians, it is considered apocryphal by most Protestants and typically not found in modern Protestant Bibles. Date Topic. The work may date to the Persian period. Topic. Summaries Topic. The chapter contains a single story that may previously have represented three separate narratives, which place Daniel at the court of Cyrus, king of the Persians. When King Astyages was laid to rest with his ancestors, Cyrus the Persian succeeded to his kingdom. There Daniel was a companion of the king, and was the most honored of all his friends." 14–1 Bell The narrative of Bell ridicules the worship of idols. In it, the king asks Daniel, "'You do not think Bel is a living god? Do you not see how much he eats and drinks every day?' To which Daniel answers that the idol is made of clay covered by bronze and thus cannot eat or drink. Enraged, the king then demands that the seventy priests of Bel show him who consumes the offerings made to the idol. The priests then challenge the king to set the offerings as usual, which were, twelve great measures of fine flour, and forty sheep, and six vessels of wine.' and then seal the entrance to the temple with his ring. If Bel does not consume the offerings, the priests are to be sentenced to death, otherwise, Daniel is to be killed. Daniel then uncovers the ruse by scattering ashes over the floor of the temple in the presence of the king after the priests have left and shows that the sacred meal of Bel is actually consumed at night by the priests and their wives and children, who enter through a secret door when the temple's doors are sealed. The next morning, Daniel calls attention to the footprints on the temple floor. The priests of Bel are then arrested and, confessing their deed, reveal the secret passage that they used to sneak inside the temple. They, their wives and children are put to death, and Daniel is permitted to destroy the idol of Bel and the temple. This version has been cited as an ancestor of the locked room mystery. Topic. The dragon In the brief but autonomous companion narrative of the dragon Daniel chapter 14 verses 23 to 30, there was a great dragon which the Babylonians revered. In this case the supposed god is no idol, but an animal. However, Daniel slays the dragon by baking pitch, fat, and hair trichus, to make cakes mazes, barley cakes that cause the dragon to burst open upon consumption. In other variants, other ingredients serve the purpose, in a form known to the Midrash, straw was fed in which nails were hidden, or skins of camels were filled with hot coals, or in the Alexander cycle of romances it was Alexander the Great who overcame the dragon by feeding it poison and tar, the parallel with the contest between Marduk and Tiamat, in which wines controlled by Marduk burst Tiamat open, has been noted by many informed readers, barley cake plays the same role as the wind, as a result, the Babylonians are indignant, and threaten the king if he does not give them them Daniel. Daniel is handed over, and thrown into a lion's den. The prophet Habakkuk is miraculously recruited and brought to share a meal with Daniel in the den. When Daniel is found alive in the den seven days later, the king throws his persecutors to the lions, who eat and kill them. The lion's den the third narrative 1431-42, Daniel in the lion's den, may be a retelling of Daniel's first trip from 6 to 1 minus 28 or may describe a separate incident. It has been made into a consequence of the preceding episode, but the Septuagint precedes it with the notice, from the prophecy of Habakkuk, son of Joshua, of the tribe of Levi. Daniel remains unharmed in the den with seven lions, fed by the prophet Habakkuk, who was taken to the lion's den by an angel. Upon the seventh day the king went to bewail Daniel, and when he came to the den, he looked in, and behold, Daniel was sitting. 
Then cried the king with a loud voice, saying, Great art thou, O Lord God of Daniel, and there is none other besides thee. And he drew him out, and cast those that were the cause of his destruction into the den, and they were devoured in a moment before his face. See also Topic Susanna, Book of Daniel. Topic References. Topic Topic Bibliography. Topic Levine, Amy Jill, twenty ten. Commentary on Bell and the Dragon. In Coogan, Michael D. The New Oxford Annotated Bible, 4th edition. New York, Oxford University Press. Bell and the Dragon. Jewish Encyclopedia, 2. pp. 650-1. Retrieved 6 August 2015. Daniel 14 in the Nab Biblical audio Bell and the Dragon Daniel Chapter 14, 2013 Critical Translation with Audio Drama.